This video is brought to you by PowerFit Personal Training. Our philosophy is to empower as many people as possible through the gift of health and fitness. Live with power. We went shopping today and Lily and I were both saying we don't really know what size we are anymore. It's like, I can wear pants over here, but I have to go over here for tops because it's so kitty now. What's the experience been like for you? It's been fun. It's a lot of fun. Because, you know, us as trainers, you know, we, we see it from our view, but then we like to see see and hear it from your guys' point of view, too. I like, I like how it changes all the time. You don't know what you're going to walk into. You don't know how your body's going to handle it. You know, and then it hurts while you're doing it, and you're, like, looking at the clock going, okay, what's a minute up, you know, your 15 seconds to roll to the next station. But afterwards, it feels so good. Even though I have a hard time driving home, my arms are sore, you know. But it, I feel like I've accomplished something. You can be at this point of your life, older, not even in athletics, and still be in great shape to the point where you can go and run or you could go and play an athletic sport and not be dying at the end. So I just, you know, I really think that that's it's just so important in our lives to... Remember that this was not just about the, the weight loss throughout our, you know, experience. Especially for, for me now that I'm pregnant, my journey is completely shifted. Just remembering where we were in the beginning, the very first time we stepped into PowerFit, and remembering that place, and seeing where I am now, and seeing where I've come. I ran a 5K, I ran a 10K, I'm back to my pre baby weight. All these pickles that I never, ever, ever thought I was going to be again. I gained 60, 70 pounds when I was pregnant. And I just came to terms with that. I thought, okay, I'm just going to be a fat Tongan girl. I was the skinny Tongan girl when I was younger, and now I'm just going to be a fat Tongan girl. And that's just the way life's going to be. And I just have to accept it. And coming here, I lost that weight. And it's gone. And I know how to keep it off now. And I know how to live my life so I don't ever gain it again. And to never know how grateful I am for that knowledge. To know how to keep it up. And to know how to never get, get it back. I could have done it. I could have taken diet pills, done all those crazy Beyonce diets that I was always trying to do. <laughs> Drinking some lemon water with cayenne pepper. But I never would have kept the weight off. So that's my biggest thing, is just knowing that I can do this now. I can maintain this and I'll be fine. The weight, sizes, the clothes, you know? I may have not lost a lot of weight, but well, I'm wearing a large shirt instead of an extra large shirt. Belly doesn't stick out much. I feel really good about yeah. myself and I look ah. at myself in the mirror going, I do look good. And I haven't had a large weight loss, but it's proportion different. You know what I mean? And that's important to me. It feels good. Relationships was 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 really big. I'm I'm blessed. We're all blessed to be part of a powerful family and the two families come together. That's this is a blessing for us too. I love it here. I love. I mean, I've gained so many new friends and family. and created so many relationships and not just the lifestyle change with regards to the health and fitness, but I felt the change within myself. Um, I'm just thankful. It doesn't end here. This is a bond that will continue. So, you know, this, this was just the starting point. Thank you. It's like another family, just like anyone else. Um, I share really close relationships with some people. Uh, I, I, I'm really inspired by you guys, the way you work. You work harder than me sometimes, you know. And Buns, she she amazes me. Like She really re reminds me of myself when I had weight issues. And just the way she dropped her, she dropped her jaw when I said religion 70 pounds. <laughs> she couldn't believe it. She wanted to she wanted, she wanted take it, but I kept pushing her. And she, look where she is now, you know. You don't find, this is a really unique gym, like, there's no gyms like this, like, you don't, you don't find places like this where people genuinely care and genuinely are happy for you when you succeed at things. 
that's what I've discovered is that there's a lot of stuff I can do. There's nothing I can't do. There's a lot of stuff I don't like to do, but I do it. And, um, it's, I found this lifestyle that I have a passion for, and I want to keep going. And I know that I can. I'm really thankful for I feel like I got my life. The more I'm like my husband did. And I'm really thankful for that. Um, they weren't really going down the right way. Health wise. And it's hard when you look at you have five kids all looking up to you in your circles. Not a good one. And now to see that they're so proud of us. And they're getting healthy and they want they look forward to going to the gym and when they go shopping they're like don't buy that it's bad and it's just I never thought that we would be here in where we're at now living the way we are and it's a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I said well you know I've got a lot of family if I freaking die at 45 because my blood pressure I'm okay with that because I was comfortable in the lifestyle I had had I was I was used to it and I, I had family members die at 40 and 42. It's like, well, that's my path, that's my path. And I was just on that highway and I wasn't turning. I mean, a lot of people came and would always try to get me to exercise and change my lifestyle. And I was just like, shh, well, threw it up. No one could penetrate that wrong when it came to healthy lifestyle for me. No one, you know. I. Everyone would try to, and it would just be like they're touching it or just poking it because I never let that wall come down, and I would just wouldn't do it. I'm very stubborn. Wouldn't that work? I want something, but you guys really broke down a lot of barriers that I had up for so many years. My whole life, I was, you know, that's that's how I lived. And um, once I started having children, it was just put me last because I had other people to take care of. And in fact, I wasn't taking care of it because, like I said, a hundred times I was directing queen, killing my kids, slowly but surely, giving them junk. And because we never had time to be home. I just knew that the timing of, of all of this with the leverage of, of Sam and Coley and all of you guys coming together and my whole team coming together that we could really do something. And, um, you don't always accomplish what you set out to do, but I feel... Uh, myself and, and my team here and, and John Logan that we even exceeded our own expectations of what we were going to be able to do with all you guys. So.